So, uh, I got the Pixel 6. Hey, it's Editing Noah. Um, just wanted to dive in here for a second. I know I just called the phone the Pixel 6. That's because I had the Pixel 6 on my mind a lot, and I'll talk about it in a little bit. But, the proper name of this phone is the LG Wing. And I didn't realize I called it the Pixel 6 until just now as I'm editing. And I had watched this video over... I mean, a couple times, just to make sure it was, like, good and, and all that, but um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. About a year ago at this time, um, I got the Illusion Sky Color. It's been great. It's been fun. It's been cool. I've had people go, what is that? Is that two phones? People have been kind of appalled by it sometimes. They'd just be like, why is your phone so weird? But I've really, honestly, enjoyed having this phone. I don't regret spending money on it. It has kept up with other phones. The only thing that I don't like about this phone is the camera. And that's because I'm very picky. I had the Pixel 3a XL, which is what I'm recording on right now, um, through the like front-facing camera. This one, not a big fan of uh, the camera. Even though it has the gimbal mode and everything, I don't use that at all. It makes really good stabilization. However, the quality isn't there. That being said, this is cool. I like this a lot. The app pairs down here, wonderful. At work, on my lunch break, I have YouTube and texting. I'm just down here, let's see. Let's get scammer payback here. Watching up here, texting down here. Probably my most used feature from this phone. Um, just being honest with you guys, when I first got this phone, I tried using it like this as much as I could. Doesn't really work that way. This is only useful for when you are directly getting information from one source and plugging it into another. Which is why here, uh, the calculator right here, this is a good spot to have this, and you can see they've updated it to the for um, Android 12. But other than that, you can't force yourself to use two screens. Um, it's not useful until it's actually useful. So, that being said, my plan going forward is going to be getting the Pixel 6 Pro. Might do a video on that phone. Definitely an unboxing video, because those are fun to do. But as far as specs go, I don't really want to get into that. Um, as far as specs goes for this phone, it, it held up for a year. I still, the battery lasts all day. There was a moment, there was a really weird moment where it, the battery would drain. It had something to do with like a Google Play Services app that I just deleted all the updates for and I haven't had any issues with it. I think it was just like a bad update that they did for that app. But uh, the LG Wing is a win. I really enjoyed having it. Um, my brother got one too, and he's enjoyed having it. What else is there to say? It comes preloaded with Asphalt 9. I never played it. I'm not a phone gamer. The only games I play is uh, Two Dots, and then I have a Balls Bounce puzzle, which... I just load those up when I'm bored. I also had a app pair of two dots and YouTube. So like right here. There you go. Gaming on one side, video on the other side. Lot of scammer payback and two dots. Oh yeah. One thing I did do to try to make up for the lack of camera on this 
just my personal pickiness with the camera quality, is I downloaded an APK of the Pixel camera. And well, it does perform a little better. The viewfinder in the actual camera, let's see, is pretty laggy at times, especially compared to the Pixel one, which seems more responsive. So if you are planning on getting a uh, LG Wing, I suggest that you do. I don't think you're gonna be using it all unfolded as much as you think, unless you are the business person or you like YouTube. You like having YouTube and doing normal phone stuff, um, like scrolling through Twitter or Instagram or, or whatever, looking at a menu taking down notes. Yeah, basically you can you can think of all the use cases for this phone. There was a couple moments where in the car, I had this on my uh, like car phone holder thing that has fallen because this is kind of a heavy phone. It's a little bit heavier than what's out there right now. But I did have the map up and I had Spotify up, which is great. Um, a lot of the new cars have um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Android, Android Auto, something like that, um, which is going to do the same thing anyway. So it's kind of that use case is on its way out. Oh, one thing I didn't actually ever think about was the wallpapers. You have a lot of options for wallpapers. Um, you have one, your standard, like boom and boom. And then you have boom and boom. So that's four wallpapers. And then you can actually set this one individually from this one. So you can have an option of one, two, three, four, and five, six different images for wallpapers, if you so choose. Swapping in between uh, normal mode and wing mode Pretty easy pretty nice. I would notice It maybe has slowed down just ever so slightly um, And with LG not making phones anymore Who knows how long they're gonna support this phone Sorry this video took so long to get out um, I was gonna do like a six month update, nine month update, but never felt like doing those. But uh, I saw in my calendar that it's been a year since I picked up this phone. So after a year of use, still as good as day one, slows down a little bit, battery's still good. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna move on to this Pixel 6 Pro. Um, it's definitely what I want to get. Uh, yeah, also, one other thing, this phone is a big boy, and as far as big boys go, this is also a tall boy. The, the ratio, I don't know what it is offhand, but it is, I mean, pretty long, pretty lengthy there. So with the Pixel 6 Pro, it's ever so slightly wider and just ever so slightly shorter. So. I think that's gonna be about perfect uh, for me and what I like. Also, a lot of people are complaining about the curved edge on the Pixel 6 Pro, which had me kind of freaking out a little bit, but I've always had phones with the, with the edge. Started with the Galaxy S7 Edge. It was my first curved display. And then went to the Pixel 6, no, the Pixel 3a XL. And I mean, that has a flat screen. I don't know if I really noticed or cared about. But then this has a curved edge, so I'm I'm gonna say that the curved edge on the pixel is gonna be fine for me. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. If you have questions about the LG Wing, like spe specific ones, go ahead and comment down below. And I, I'll make a video about that. Um, actually, let's, let's go to the comments now and see if there's anything on the other one. Which I want to thank you guys so much for 
I mean, making this my biggest viewed video ever, 4,000 views, like, that's pretty cool. So thank you guys. There's only 15 comments, so I can, I'll just read them all. Um, Ramontier, sorry if I butchered your name, just ordered the same color. I can't wait to see it and feel it. I hope you're enjoying it, man. You got that seven months ago. Mr. Avocado Man, I am so sorry for not doing this video earlier. He said, do an update. Like, how good is it so far? If you keep it longer, you can show updates for three days. Yeah, so sorry I didn't do those updates, but hopefully a year will satisfy. Um, Unboxer of Worlds said, what a crazy phone. Thanks for showing it off. You bet. Illusion Sky Color is crazy. I have it too. Marvelous design color. Says Abhiskih S from seven months ago. Sorry about the names. Um, QHM says that Illusion Sky Color is just bold. It's not for everyone, especially those who hate bright colors, let alone the iridescent gradients of that, of it, that change with the light. But this just does it for me. Yeah. I mean, everyone I've talked to said that they like this. And I'll, I'll miss this cool color. I'm going to go with the black pixel. But having this was cool. Also, oh, let me, I'm going to get some shots later of um, how this phone looks after a year of not having a case, not having a screen protector. Um, I never did drop it. There was one time I handed it to somebody and they like didn't realize how how like that would feel so they uh, dropped it onto the table but it survived, it's fine. Aereo Proyo said I got one for 40, 400 bucks here in India. That's great. No charger with the phone. Um, yeah, there was a charger with the phone, um, somebody asked. Um, anyway, I think that that will cover the comments. Uh, yeah, so I just want to thank you guys for the feedback on that first video. And if you have more things to say, I'd love to hear them. I'll try to read all the comments if it doesn't get crazy or anything. Um, yeah, because the LG Wings, I mean super irrelevant right now but in case anyone's curious they'll be like oh hey yeah I forgot about that phone I wonder if anybody actually used it well yes I used it for a whole year is my 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 daily driver except for the camera I did tote my pixel 3 around with me to some places especially on vacation places I knew I was gonna be taking pictures I just pack it in my bag with its like Otterbox case and uh, yeah, I was good to go. But now it'll be nice to only use one device again. Um, all my friends would make fun of me for, not all of them, and they just tease me about like having two phones. Um, I didn't care. I like the Pixel, Google, that, that's how much I love your camera. I brought it around just so I could have that quality photo. All right, so yeah, here is the the damages. Let me give this little wipe off, just with my hoodie pocket. Okay, LG Wing, one year, no case, no drops. Not bad, I was looking at this the other day. Oh, it's hard to see. There's a little bit of scratching here, that's just from setting it on the table. I mean, I was gentle with it. A couple of chips here. A little scuffing there. Again, nothing horrendous. I think I have a little chip in the glass back here. Yeah, a little scratch right there. But I mean, like that is the biggest oopsie there um, oh fingerprint sensor 
I know a lot of you guys are used to just tapping and it going in, but this one, you don't do that. And it's also really bad. But of course, I've always had issues with uh, fingerprint on phones, so maybe, uh, maybe it's my own personal issue. But um, one thing I did notice was that this is off. Like it's not straight. But I think that's just kind of how it is. It was never, I never really noticed it as an issue. It never bugged me. Oh, and never once did I ever wonder about this phone bending or breaking. It, it is solid. That feels as good as day one. Um, also, just to let you guys know, I, every once in a while, every couple of weeks, I just blow some compressed air in here just to keep all the dust from collecting and settling in there. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll actually do it for this video now. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you some other time with some other thing. Bye-bye. Let me know what you guys want to see about this phone, if there's anything. And I'll make a follow-up video to this one. Um, maybe in a month or two. Just let the comments roll in. Get the questions um, up. So, yes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next thing.